Are you guys tired of playing like this in MW3? Maybe you guys even want to play like this, sliding around everywhere and getting a lot of kills. On well, that case, I have the movement guide for you on how to improve in Call of Duty MW3. Yeah, so as you guys can see, we're on terminal right now. I'm in a free-for-all lobby, and I just want to show you guys how to use movement to your advantage and the best movement techniques and settings that you guys need to use to really move around the map really fast, and yeah. So the first thing you need to know about movement is, yeah, it makes you go faster around the map, um, but also it allows you to break people's cameras. So let's say there's a guy here, for example. If I were to jump shot around the corner like this, I would be able to see him and react to him before he can react to me because the server takes a while for it to update um, your position to them on their screen. Like, I think it's every every 1 60th of a second, but that's a big advantage of Call of Duty. So you can just peek around the corner really fast and they're not even going to know what's coming. And so speaking of a jump shot, I'll show you how to do it. So you want to obviously jump when running in the same direction and then let's say you want to do it around a corner to face this guy you want to start running in this direction and then as you jump in the air you want to turn your angle to face the guys that you were just about to shoot at and the angle you're trying to face so i'm running i'm running i'm jumping turning around so yeah jump shotting is a pretty classic mechanic it allows you to break people's cameras pretty easily just by doing that and yeah it's one of the Fundamentals of movement that you're gonna to want to use a lot around golf house, around corners. Um, let's say there's a guy here, like even you can just do this and boom, jump shot, you might kill him. Way better chance of killing him than if you're just challenging him a straight up like sprinting here because you have no, he's gonna hit you because you're not throwing any fancy movement at him and you're going in a straight line. But if you're going like side to side, then he's not gonna expect that. So he's gonna miss his first few bullets and he's gonna hopefully not kill you and you're gonna get the kill. Now also, we gotta talk about tag sprint in this game because tactical sprint, if you guys don't know, it gives you the most movement speed. It allows you to sprint really fast around the map like this. I was sprinting, I was sprinting really fast and then I'm in my normal sprint, which is less fast. It's still fast, but it's less fast. And then I'm in tactical sprint again, so boom. So the way to get tactical sprint is basically just to sprint off rip and then it's gonna give you a full tactical sprint bar. It's like not visible to us, but yeah. And then you're gonna be sprinting for a few seconds and then it replenishes really fast. That's a good thing. And then you're sprinting again, then tactical sprint. So it's like on and off after the first big tactical sprint. And then if you walk for a, for a while and you're not moving that much or we're sprinting or tactical sprinting, then your tactical sprint is gonna be longer for the next time you use it. As you can see, it lasted the whole hallway as opposed to if I were to do it now, it wouldn't last as long. Now I gotta give you guys a little secret setting on how to get the best tactical sprint um, movement pretty much. So you're gonna go into settings and you're gonna go into game plan, I'm pretty sure, and tactical sprint behavior. You wanna change it from double tap where you have to press this button, L3, move stick twice. You have to press it in twice, the, the first one to sprint and the second one to tactical sprint. And then you wanna make it single tap run. So the first time you hit it, the first time you press it into L3, you're already tactical sprinting pretty much like this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it normally. So I'm doing the normal setting, double tap to run. So I'm gonna hit it once, press in once, and I'm pressing twice. And now I'm finally tactical sprinting. And you guys see how much like slower that is? Like it might seem like a really small difference right now, but let's say you're trying to go off spawn, you're trying to rush to a certain place on the map, even just at like one millisecond of not being able to tactical spread because you're pressing the button in twice, it's gonna make a huge difference with getting to your spots early and doing all that. So in Call of Duty, like obviously timing's everything. So you can't be having that. You gotta make it as quick as possible. That's why I choose single tap to run. So yeah, guys, we discussed tactical sprinting, we discussed jump shotting, but what haven't we discussed? We haven't discussed slide canceling, okay? So slide canceling's back. They removed it back in MW2, but it's back in its former glory from MW 2019. You can see, bang, slide cancel, slide cancel, slide cancel, slide cancel. Okay, so how to slide cancel, you might be asking. So the way you want to slide cancel is you want to press into whatever button you're using to slide. Um, 
for defaulted circle. Um, but I choose it personally for my bumper, my right stick. So when I press into my right stick, I'm going to slide. Bang. It's a slide. For whatever button you're using to slide, you want to press that. And then as you're sliding, you want to hit X. Want to hit slide X. Slide X. Now, back in MW 2019, it was slide, slide X. But in this game, luckily, it's slide X. So you're not going to be straining your fingers as much to reach it to circle, circle, to press it into the R3 button. You're just going to be slide X. You also could do a slide, slide X, but it's not really necessary at all. Like, I'm doing it a slide, slide X. But there's no point in pressing another button when you could just be pressing slide X. And the reason slide canceling is so good is because, let's say there's a guy right over right over here for example okay so normally i'd chat like this maybe and he'd have a pretty pretty comfortable gunfight for him he'd see me crossing the whole time even my head over here through, through the window right here um it'd be pretty comfortable he'd probably kill me let's say i jump shotted okay that'd be better but for here what you really want to do is you want to slide castle so you want to slide and then turn around as you're sliding to the left and then hit jump. So you want to slide, aim, and jump. Slide, aim, and turn, jump. And here's not going to be able to track you as well. Because first of all, he has to see you as well through the window right here. Um, so you're going to confuse him a little. He's not going to be tracking you perfectly as if you were doing this, which is pretty basic. He's going to know exactly where you're going. Here, you're going to break his camera again. Because, um, you know, you have peekers advantage as we previously discussed. Okay, so let's say there's a guy here. Um, first off, if you're here, if you started from here. You can go back and forth a few times um so he doesn't know which direction you're going to come from could be coming from here could be coming from here um but then you want to basically slide aim and jump slide aim and jump and then turn around your joystick as well and then he's not gonna you're gonna have peekers advantage coming from down here because you're gonna see him for the first few seconds as you're coming up from your slide animation when he's not going to see you on the screen so that's really important to know slide canceling is back um, but the best slide canceling setting, first of all, that you need to know is you got to go to, first of all, your settings, controller, and go to slide slash dive behavior, slide only. So in MW2, there's dolphin diving. You can just hold in the R3 button, and then you dolphin dive. Um, it's pretty good for getting around cover fast. It's a nice alternative to slide canceling or to sliding around a uh, thing because here you're like in the air, your body's in the air. You're going to be harder to hit for getting around the corners. But overall, slide canceling is way more important. And with the setting on where you can slide and dive, when you hit the slide button, it takes a second for you to, for you to like, for the game to know if you're gonna slide or if you're gonna dive. Because when you first hit the button, it might think that you're about to dive, but no, you're gonna slide instead. That's what you wanna do. So just to stop the confusion of the game and stop the 50 millisecond delay, you wanna make it to slide only. So you have instant slides and yeah. So last but not least, one of the best movement mechanics, but also kind of the cheesiest, is snaking okay so what snaking is let's say there's a guy right here what you want to do is you want to crouch up and out really fast um so he can barely see your head when you're coming up it looks really difficult like if you thought slide canceling was bad where you're sliding around the corner and then he can't see you for a second this is like it on steroids basically because you're just doing it back and forth back and forth and let's say you want to shoot back at him you can pop up for a few seconds i gotta reload give me a sec um pop up pop up aim in Pop up, amen, shoot. So yeah, it's really difficult. All the pros use it. It's really annoying to deal with. If there is somebody doing it right here. So yeah, how you snake is basically you press R3 or whatever your crouch button is for me it's R3, but it could be circle. Press it down. And then as you're transitioning to prone right here, you wanna uh, you wanna basically sprint, um, use tactical sprint, whatever. Um, sprint forward as you're doing it and then just repeat it over and over so crouch prone sprint crouch prone sprint crouch prone sprint crouch sprint crouch sprint crouch sprint and then it's going to be really hard you also might want to do it in circles so they're not going to know where you're going to come out from instead of going just straight up and down it could be like right left whatever yeah it's going to be really painful for them to hit and it's one of the best mechanics if there's a guy if there's a head glitch right in front of you and instead of just going back and forth like this you want to bang Bang. Bang. So yeah, those were the best movement settings in MW3. Let me just show you them stringed all together real quick. So slide, bunny hop, slide, stake. So yeah, MW3 is awesome. Um, I'm in love with the game right now. 
And with the movement back, it's a match made in heaven. So yeah, hopefully you guys dominate in your games. Um, like and sub if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.